Hello and welcome to the catvirus.com channel. My name is Diane D. Addy. Today we're going to look at how you can use the Revalta test, which is inexpensive and rapid, to eliminate a diagnosis of effusive feline infectious peritonitis in your veterinary surgery. This film is intended for veterinary surgeons and veterinary students. If you are not a veterinary surgeon, please visit my website www.catvirus.com for further information um, on FIP. Feline infectious peritonitis, FIP, is an important cause of death in cats, especially pedigree, that is purebred cats, and cats from rescue shelters. In fact, cats from any multi-cat environment are at risk from feline coronavirus, which is the cause of FIP. FIP usually presents to the clinician in one of two ways, effusive or wet FIP, where the abdominal or thoracic cavities fill up with fluid, and non-effusive or dry FIP, where the cat presents with wasting, anorexia and pyrexia. FIP is actually a misnomer. The lesion in this disease is a vasculitis, that is inflammation of the blood vessels, and the resulting clinical signs will depend on which blood vessels are affected. Feline infectious peritonitis is extremely difficult to diagnose. There is no single diagnostic test other than histopathology, which is usually pr performed after the cat has died. However, some test manufacturers and laboratories claim otherwise and mislabel their tests FIP tests. What they should be called is feline coronavirus tests. The Revalta test is a rapid, simple and economic test which can be performed within the veterinary surgery for just a few pennies or cents. If the result is negative, the cat is 97% not likely to have FIP. If the result is positive, the cat is 86% likely to have FIP. In other words, around 5 out of 6 cats with a positive Revalta test will actually be suffering from FIP. To perform the Revalta test, take a clean plastic or glass test tube, you have to be able to see through the sides, um, and add 10 ml of water. I found that really ice cold water doesn't work. You need to use the water at room temperature. You may have to try different kinds of water to find which best works best for you. To your test tube of water, add two or three drops of ordinary 8% acetic acid. That's right, just ordinary white or clear vinegar available from a shop near you. Carefully place a drop of the effusion onto this mixture as I show you in this film. Here's the drop going in, and look how it's hung from the top of the tube. Here's another drop, and now the first drop's going down like a little jellyfish. This is a positive reaction. And here's the third drop. See, it hangs from the top, and then finally it moves off down the tube. There it goes. And it leaves a sort of track in the mixture. You don't always see that, but that is a positive. Here is a close-up still of a positive Revalta test showing three globules hanging from the surface. Five out of six cats that give this reaction will be likely to have FIP. This sample was so strongly positive that I could shake the tube quite vigorously before the blob would float down. Can you see it at the top of the tube waving around like a big teardrop? And finally, it will break off and float down. There it goes, like a jellyfish. So now we know what a positive sample looks like. What does a negative look like? Well, the negative ones simply evaporate in this mixture. They just disappear like a wisp of smoke in air. The cat from whom that sample was taken is 97% not likely to have FIP. Thus, a diagnosis of FIP was ruled out by the negative Revalta test. Well, I hope you found that film useful. For more information about how to diagnose FIP, visit my website www.catvirus.com. Thank you for having watched this film. 
This is Diane Diadi praying for an end to animal suffering.